Hello everyone. Just to just to confirm if, if you can hear me and can see my screen. You can uh, reply in chat. Yes, you can see and I think you can hear all. Okay, fine. So uh, let's wait for some uh, more minutes and uh, so that other people can also join. Then we can start. Okay. And one request will be there like if you're not speaking, then please be on mute. And uh, whatever query you have, you can ping in chat or you can uh, once at the at the end of session, we'll discuss on those questions as well. Okay. So let's wait for two to three minutes and then we'll start. Uh, so Sai is saying that you already put us in mute. So that is default setting, but you can always unmute yourself and speak up. Okay. Okay, guys, let's start down. I think we have enough participants and it is good to go. Okay. So, okay, once again. Okay. Okay, so here we are here to learn about API testing, correct? And uh, if you have noticed or you must have experienced, I think that many will be experienced guys in this patch. So you must have heard or noticed like before three, four years, there was a lot of demand of automation testing. Okay, and uh, when uh, whenever we talked about API uh, automation testing, we always thought of web-based automation using selenium and that we understood like the automation testing starts from selenium and ends to selenium which was never the case okay okay so second thing like nowadays whatever job you apply for they ask or you might have heard a term called full stack qa or full stack testers okay so whenever they are using these terms, they are not asking only that you should know only Selenium. They expect a lot from you, okay? Nowadays, because of the testing teams are 
uh, getting decreased day by day and uh, they are they are like company or project they are expecting that one tester will able to do a lot of things like uh, something like middleware testing a middleware testing nothing but api testing then database testing then it may be ui testing then you should you should do manual testing as well you should do some non uh, non uh, what you call non functional testing like performance testing and all so they are expecting a lot okay so whatever job application you apply for and uh, whatever you whenever you go for the interview they will expect at least you should know wave automation and ui automation uh, sorry uh, api automation okay so those are things are mandatory things now okay based on if you have only knowledge of ap uh, senium you will not get the more calls or you will not get the more opportunities as well but if you know like ui testing ui testing ui automation with the api automation and little bit of performance testing you will be a full stack qa and you can do a lot of things okay and company will also think okay you know a lot of things so we should hire you only if a person is very good in cnm but he doesn't know other things okay then the chances of getting selected will be less okay and during this covid 19 pandemic right so they they were actually a lot of firing okay that is the truth it's not that firing was not only in india it, it, were, it was more in us and uh, other countries as well okay so whenever company sees that okay they need to cut down head count right so they go mainly go they go skills work skill set okay they are five people so they will compare that how many or how what is the skill set of those five people okay and whoever will have less they will permit them right so that's why if you are if you're in it industry so the most first thing is the key is like you need to keep learning okay once we are doing manual testing then we learn automation testing of using cnm now we should learn api testing as well okay so the uh, the quick funda or quick one line of note is that you need to keep upgrading yourself okay because i always hear questions and i believe that in this batch only someone will ask that what what will the nf okay or how much we need to learn okay so that is obviously a wrong question the more you learn the more better you can taste more better you can put your skill set on your resume okay yes so so i i want to start with the quote here like learning right technology is at right time is the key of success okay you have a knowledge like you could you would have seen some people who who has like around 10 years experience 12 years experience then they are learning automation now it's very really difficult for them to learn because after 12 years their mindset is changed their capability of grasping the concepts uh, are becoming less okay so oh, the thing the thing is that you need to learn the technology or learn the skill set at the right time because we have potential now okay we can learn we can exp we can learn and then explore those concepts and then when where we get the, those projects we can work on those work on them right so we should always start learning at the right time don't wait if i get the api project then i will learn api testing then you are wrong okay you keep you keep uh, api testing as a skill set and as soon as, as soon as you get the project you can start working on that okay so i'm getting some questions So yeah, can you introduce yourself and start? So I will introduce myself. So wait for that. And can we record the session? Yes, the session will be recorded, and uh, it will be shared with you all also once uh, if you enroll for the course. Okay. So this will be the first uh, demo session of API testing, or officially it will be the first class of API testing as well. Okay. So we have some agenda. So in agenda, we are more focusing on why to learn API testing. Okay. And then what is API web services, then difference between those, because this is very 
frequently asked question like what is the difference between api and web services api design model soap simple object access protocol representational state transfer and so versus this so these are just the agenda of the day and i will try to cover as much as is possible for today okay so an introduction i am amod mahajan and uh, you you might have heard about me because i have a blog uh, uh, called mixinemg.com which i am uh, mentoring from last 4 years and this particular website gets around 4 uh, to 5 thousand views every day okay and you can see my youtube channel also the target common where i take live sessions and some training videos on technical topics as well okay so i have around 8 plus years of experience in software testing and i worked on various tools okay so i actually started my career with etl automation testing and then i remain in the automation field only okay so just to summarize my skill set like i worked mainly on selim java Let's assure Postman, Cypress, Protractor, Git, Cucumber, Sentry, BDD, Jenkins, CI/CD, TCG, and a lot more. Okay. Okay. So, any question uh, or do you have any doubt before we start the actual uh, agenda? I see one hand is raised. If you have any question, you can uh, type in chat box also. Okay. Okay, I can see. Okay, fine. How long it takes to learn API testing? okay it depends upon you this course will be of uh, two months okay and uh, we'll cover uh, like uh, i will go through with the syllabus once so that i will go through in the last okay or, uh, or let me go through the syllabus now only so it will get the idea give me a minute Just stopping my skin share for a minute. So, uh, okay.
Can you see this screen now? Yes. Okay. So this we have as a syllabus and uh, ideally it takes around, uh, if you see the how many days it has, like it is day 15, but generally it goes till uh, day 18 or day, means they need to go for two weeks, two months. And in worst case, it will go for one extra week. Okay. And every week there will be two hours classes. And uh, if if I take it the, at the major level though, then we covered actually uh, postman as a session. Okay. And uh, it will be like cover full fledged. Okay. So whatever basic knowledge as well as advanced knowledge you require for API testing using the postman resource, those things will be covered here. Okay. So just to summarize, uh, first day it goes for only the introduction of API testing with the basic term terminologies like uh, risk and so. And from day two, we start actually using Postman. Okay, so in Postman, we'll cover like how can you send different types of requests, how can you upload the files, how can you put the assertions, how can you uh, use the collection runner, and how can you use the new man using that Postman, how can you run into a CI CD pipeline? Okay, so those things will be covered. There are so many things actually. This syllabus will be shared with you all. So you can see that we are covering a lot of topics actually. Okay, so there's so many things like what is JSON, what is XML, how to pass JSON file, XML, many things will be covered in this. Okay, so we'll take so many APIs. For example, we can use Twitter, we can use some uh, uh, restful booker. So there's so many example APIs. So which will uh, take an example and we'll cover those things. Okay, so and uh, Bailey will be focusing on Java here, uh, sorry, JSON here. And uh, like we are also covering the basic of Git as well. Like how can you create a repo? How can you uh, push to repo, pull the repo branching and all those things will also cover here, okay? So we'll also cover the basics of TSNG as well because we are, we'll be using this issue with the TSNG here, okay? And uh, uh, for the reporting, we'll cover the extent report. And uh, yes, so means uh, using this episode, how can we test different types of extractive methods? Then how can we uh, create a framework from scratch using this episode? So those things will be covered actually. So there are a lot of topics we're going to cover here. And uh, if you see here as a complementary, we are also uh, including the BDD part here, BDD Cucumber. Okay, so we'll create a framework where we will use this asset with the cucumber only. Okay, so we have actually a uh, very good syllabus where we are covering all the things, all the major things and all the things which are generally asked in the interview also. And in between also I will cover like these other important topics the interview perspective also. Okay, so generally the syllabus shows here day 16, day 15, but in worst case, or uh, in generally, if you, if there are so many doubts or uh, there are extra topics, I include because generally I include extra topics also from my side. So it will go till day 17, 18. Okay, but yeah, that is guaranteed. Like you will get a lot of concepts uh, or, or understanding of research and postman in full fledged manner. Okay, so some. Okay, so one question like this course is for beginner level or advanced level? Yeah, this course this course is actually for beginner levels. Okay, so we'll start from scratch. We are not expecting that you should know some basics of API testing or basis or postman. No, this will be basically start from scratch, but we'll be expecting that you should know Java. Okay, because we are not covering Java in this particular course, and uh, you should be aware of Java and SNG. Okay, TSNG, I will take a um, brush up class, but yeah, if you know, then it will be good actually. Otherwise, we need to take one class for the TSNG itself. Okay. And uh, wherever we are asking, so how many real time frameworks are we going to cover? So, see, actually, real time framework is like something very fancy work, fancy word actually. Okay. So, 
whatever we teach here okay whatever we learn so you you'll get a similar kind of framework with some extra concepts or some extra uh, utility or some extra coding right everywhere okay because if you are if you're working on some senior projects and you go to 10 different projects you will not find the similar frameworks okay but the idea of implementing will be the same okay so you need to be good in very good in basic concepts so that whenever you go for any project you should be able to understand okay how why they are doing this and why they are doing that okay but we will create a full fledged framework here and which is generally very uh, generally mostly followed in uh, maximum industries what a project i worked on so that will be a good framework uh, like that will be data driven framework and uh, uh with the full phase framework it will be included okay and anil is asking uh you have mentioned cucumber in api then we have to learn cucumber or you will explain it first so it will be good if you know cucumber because cucumber is just the extra topic for this particular course and i will just i'll just show you that how can you integrate recessive with the cucumber okay Anupam is asking if this course includes CNM as well. No, this course is only for API testing, which includes the Postman and so not Selenium. Okay. Whatever recessive API, yeah, that is recessive is the main uh, main uh, topic of this particular batch. Recessive will be covered. Yes, I will explain the builder design pattern. Raul Hilk is asking mean after complete this will be having basic knowledge of API. I will provide a lot of uh, knowledge to you, but it uh, it up to you like how much you learn it. Okay. We request for this SEO will be only that you should know Java. That's all. Will I cover SOAP UI? No, the SOAP UI is not the part of this course. And anyway, SOAP UI, SOAP UI generally mostly used for uh, uh what you call soap and rest api and uh, if you see anywhere so uh instead of soap you people preferably use postman because that is quick to set up and uh, you can start testing immediately silver so as i already i repeated that this course is exclusive for recessor and postman so obviously recessor will be covered and this syllabus i will share with you with everyone so that you can see that what are the topics we are going to cover of recessor and postman Atul is asking how this SEO is different from API. So wait for that. Okay, wait for that. Like uh, uh, we do wave automation, right? Wave automation you can do using multiple tools. You can use Protector, you can use Senium, you can use Cypress. There are so many tools are available, right? So similarly, if you want to do API automation testing, then you can use this SEO. There are so many other things, other tools as well. Okay, but this SEO with Java is the most uh, powerful or famous tool as well. Maybe I'm not uh, sure. Like uh, you, uh, many people ask me, are we covering this assured? So yeah, this assured. This is web service. This is API testing batch, and this particular batch we are going to cover Postman this assured both. Okay. Kavita is asking, is, this, is it same timing for this class from next weekend? No, from next weekend it will be eight to ten a.m. IST in weekends. Eight to ten a.m.
to pais asking what can we mention resume if i want to show that i have worked it as a beginner okay so uh, what level of experience you want to put or what level of information you want to put that depends upon you suppose if you have only some less years of experience then you can say that you have worked on this project and they will ask you some basic question from api testing right so whatever put whatever you put in resume they will decide whether you know those things or not by asking some questions so i will help with the help you with the interview questions okay and i will also help you like what other topics you must need to understand well and uh, like how to answer in the interview also okay so don't worry about that one because because whatever things we are learning here same thing is followed in industry also and same thing you can go and and say in interviews as well Uh, Atul, you are confusing with the terms here. Okay, so wait for the uh, on upcoming classes, then your concept will be clear. Okay. Yes, so confusion will be there, but it but asking some blindly question will not help you, right? We need to go in systematic way. your basics should be clear then only you can understand what is postman what is basis should don't mix up things now okay because i will start from scratch and i will ensure that you understand everything then only you you can connect the dots okay you can connect the dots what is postman why you why not using only postman why you are using those basis should there are so many things i will answer okay so don't worry about that okay so how much experience can i show after this course in api okay so ideally um like suppose if you have 5 plus years of experience then you can show that you have worked on api testing okay so generally you should show in the resume that yeah you have worked on api testing because whenever you when you attend some three or four interviews automatically get the confidence of that okay they are asking this question from api this they are asking that question from api testing so you learn learn those things more okay And then what questions can you provide assistance interviews so what type of assistance you want truck is we don't provide any interview calls but yeah all the interview questions we can provide raj is asking when you say java yeah is that only basic java yeah basic java you need to know Pre request for ACS is the same thing. You should know Java because ACS today is a Java framework or Java library. Like say now we have seen it for Java, right? Similarly, ACS is also for a Java library. Any other question? They have bombarded questions actually, so I am not okay. Advanced level topics are covered or not? go through with the syllabus you'll see there are so many terms of topics are covered okay so this is asking uh, hi rahul are you providing any real time projects because i don't now don't know if i do project only i can hands on i am completely new to testing i know manual concepts okay so real time project is something see uh, whatever you practice right see in interview what and what i understand like in interview it completely depends upon you how you drive the interview okay whatever you learn whatever concepts you learn similar concept you go whenever you go for a project you apply there also okay so the way you answer okay that matters okay if you if you show in your resume that you have worked on api testing then you must know what is this is your what is postman what are the http method what are http codes okay and how you have uploaded the files or how you um, which reporting tools have used those things you need to know right those things we are going to cover 
and these questions this type of questions will only ask in interviews only there no like uh, some separate questions or some unique questions ask from bp testing no okay i will also explain scenario based questions also like what will happen when you get this type of scenario or get type that that type of uh, uh, error then what you will do those things i will also cover okay So yeah, uh, syllabus I will share. हाँ देखो दिख रहा है क्या अभी Hello. Yeah, sorry, there was some int, uh, internet connection. So, so yeah, that's fine. So okay. So Nawaz, you are asking that you 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 are two thousand sixteen password. Can you search job as a fresher? No, so that will be. Uh, not possible or not not easy because whenever you go for the interview they will ask you that what you have done for these many years okay so it will good if you put some experience and then you start the job search okay so do we get previous session recording sessions to see whatever uh, uh, sessions will be taken for this particular batch those recording will be shared with you all okay and whatever code we write whatever code will be
If you have any question, you can ask me. If you have any question. I hope that everyone will be able to hear me because I see some message that they cannot hear me. Can you confirm if you can hear me now? Okay. Raki is asking, are you covering API automation? Yes, we are covering API automation. Because this is the main agenda of this batch is API automation only. Okay, manual automation testing both. Any other question, guys? So actually, we, uh, we have planned this service like uh, by thinking of all the possible topics and concepts related to API testing. And this topics will not help you to clear the interview as well. You can work on a project directly. Okay. I will also help you to ask questions whenever you go to any project. You know, what are the questions you need to ask? Okay, so we are going to now start uh, uh, the actual course here. Okay, the actual topics. So we'll cover any project on this. Yes, so we'll cover some uh, example APIs. Okay, public APIs, uh, which we'll use for our batch. Okay, so if you compare with Selenium, though for Selenium you can use any uh, web-based application for practicing, correct? But in API, there is some problem. You'll not find the too many public APIs to automate and practice. But yeah, we have identified some uh, APIs which we can use for our learning purpose. Okay. Can you upload recordings immediately once the class done? Yes. So uh, recording will be uploaded uh, within same day or maximum in the same weekend. Okay, it will be uploaded. Okay. Can you get Vasagura for this best to discuss our doubts? Yes, so this will be the demo batch, uh, demo session. And after two demo sessions, whatever, whoever will be the confirmed participants, okay, for them, the WhatsApp group will be created and every information will be shared there. Okay. Okay, so uh, do we have assignments? Yes, I will give the assignments in between, which you need to complete. Okay. So uh, let's park other questions and uh, let us start with some basic concept of API testing so that uh, you can get the idea also like uh, how well or how good you are going to learn in this batch. Okay. Perfect. So let me go to slides. Okay. So why to learn API testing, right? So as in beginning only, I explained that the industries are expecting a lot from us. Okay. They don't want a guy who knows only manual testing or only the automation testing using web-based automation testing using CNM or other tools or only API testing. They want a lot of things from there. Okay. So we should learn API testing now. And whatever, if you search for the job, okay, or if you go into any job site and filter with. Because that is required for your job safety and financial stability also. Why financial stability? Because if you know more skills, you will pay it higher. Right, compared to any other uh, with the list skill set guys. Okay. 
Okay. And agile methodology requires early testing. This is the major point actually. See earlier, if you see in beginning, right, when we're using following some uh, SD, uh, traditional SDS models like uh, waterfall models, right? So what was happening there? Uh, requ requirements will come, then we'll go through the requirement. Developers will go to the requirement, then they will develop something, and we'll also write some test scenario, then test cases, then you'll go and execute, then we'll raise the bug, then bug will be fixed, then bug will be retested. There's so many lengthy process, right? And which used to increase the delivery time of the project. Okay, now those things are gone. We are in agile methodology now. Okay, every speed you need to deliver something. Every speed you need to deliver something working, not only some half cooked or product. You need to deliver something, uh, well functional, well functioning uh, or feature of a product. Okay, so this uh, in this agile, they don't want to start the testing after once you get the product or once you get the product something in testing. You need to start from like from the day one only. Okay, if the suppose uh, whatever whatever application you see, like suppose Facebook, right? So in Facebook, they will have some backend. Right? That backend testing, if it is done properly, then obviously you will find less bugs in UI. Okay, because UI is just the representation. Whatever logic or whatever actions are performed, that is on backend side. Okay, so that's why early testing can be started if you know API testing. Okay, and many companies are expecting that you should go and test the API. Okay, API, not when when this api will be integrated with your ui then you go and test the ui no i will explain that what is api and ui then you will get to understand but yeah to support early testing in agile methodology we need to learn api testing we should know api testing okay okay so enough of terms api api we don't know what is api okay let's do let's do some tactics or some practical example Okay, so let me open Eclipse. So we know that Eclipse is uh, an IDA tool where you can write our Java codes. Okay, mainly we use for Java, but the, you can use Eclipse for other programming uh, editor also. Okay, so as of now, we don't know what is API. Okay, and don't confuse the API also. Okay, let me give you one example then we'll go to this api terms and all okay so let me start launch okay because it's already open so it project I'll go to file, new, and Java project. Okay. Now let me name it something. API demo. Okay. So, uh, what actually I'm going to do here? So. Let me open. Uh, okay, so suppose you have one application where people go and register themselves. 
right? Or suppose whenever you are creating any account on Gmail, right? So we give the username and then we put our some basic details and then we create the account. But when you are selecting a username, Gmail look or Gmail first confirm you whether that username is available or not. Okay. So for example, let me open in Cognito mode here. Let me open Gmail. Okay. And so there are so many questions are coming. So yeah, those questions I would take at the last. So at this cover, let me cover some basic stuff. Okay. So if we, if we, I create an account and uh, suppose I put some username like uh, Amud Mahajan. Okay. So we see one error like that username is taken. Try another. Okay. This try another. Okay. Means this whenever as soon as you type this username, something happened, right? Something happened. Then only Gmail comes to know that or oh, this username is already taken. Correct. So let me do some some coding here. First create, let me create a package. Package will be in Uh, class here and let me name it registered user names. Okay. Not sure why uh, oh, Wi Fi is working like today but okay yes i will increase the font size we are not using main project yeah so as of uh, now i'm not using main project but yeah i will use don't worry about that thing this is just to explain the basic concepts okay So I have one class which is called pub, uh, registered username. Okay. So here, suppose this is something uh, where I will store whatever username is already used. Those things I will keep here. Okay. So let me do one thing. Uh, what I'll do? I'll create a list here and some static list so that I should not able to uh, create an object of it. List of string. Okay and registered users okay registered users so i'll simply create one list and i i will use a rich class there's one method called edge list okay and this i'll put some names like amod then rahul then some enemies okay Okay, so I have one list in this class which contains the name of people which are already registered users. Okay, and I will put one method here like public boolean, public boolean check if user name is taken. Okay. Okay, so this particular class will hold or will keep the names which are already registered. Okay, and I it will have one method. Let me put it static as well, so that I will no need, no need to create an object of it before calling this method, and it will return return uh, registered users contains username. Okay. So whenever I will call this particular method, it will return me boolean true or false. If this whatever username I am passing, if this username is already exist here, okay, to return me based on that. Okay, very simple class, very simple method here. Okay, and I will create another class, and this class will be registered 
registered new user class registered new user okay in this class i will have one method called public uh, let me put it white only register user okay you i will uh, show you the connection how it is connected but yeah just uh, bear for some minutes with me user name okay so this particular method particular method is responsible to register user okay and to register user we need to pass a user name okay so what i need to do here in this method it will call this method first okay because same thing you can see when we open the create your google account home page and as soon as you would type the username here something happened right Sadly, what happened when you type this username at the back end something something is called which go and check in database whether this username is already taken or not or this username is available or not okay same thing i am doing here in this in this we have one method or we have one class which checks whether whatever usernames are already taken okay and here in the register new user what will do when whoever comes for the new registration they will call this method register user with the username and this method will call this method first okay so i'll use this class name because this is static method so that i can use use the class name registered username dot check if username already taken okay if it is already taken if it is, if it is not taken then only print the message switch out username is not used earlier okay else switch out username is already taken okay so here i'll create one class called usage usage okay usage okay and i will have a main method here and i'll create an object of registered register new user okay dot registered user okay so if i pass amod okay so what will happen what will happen now i i, I want to register new, new user with the name with the username amod okay when i call this method registered user it will go and it will check if this name is already taken right if i run this particular class called usage okay what message i will get i'll get username is already taken okay if i want if i pass some different name registered suppose sachin okay okay if i run this program now so for one i will get this one username is already taken the above one and second one username is not used earlier okay so what happened this particular uh, registered user method is calling some another method which checks whether this username is already taken or not okay same thing happened here also whenever we are creating a new account on gmail or google right so they go and check if this username is unique if that is not unique it will show you some error message okay suppose i put some alpha numeric number so maybe it will be available okay so there no error message shown that means we can i can use this particular username okay so how actually it happened how it was possible okay so let me what let me remove this one 
let me open the console okay let me go to inspect let me go to inspect and let me go to network okay we can see there are no calls okay so in under the network tab we can see all the calls happened okay so let me type something let me type uh, amod mahajan okay and i will remove the cursor from here okay can you see something happened something happened right you can see something web user name can you uh, check this one something web username ability right can you see here so what happens actually as soon as you type the username and keep the cursor out of that box one call one call was made okay from gmail okay from this particular server so this particular application to the server okay which go and fetch the detail whether this particular will already taken or not okay so whatever we see some response here thing but call something called api okay something called api here in this whatever application we saw here whatever we can saw here we are different classes here and we simply call the methods right but here it is actually happening uh, at the back end right you type something and it ha uh, it calls some api which checks whether this particular username is available or not okay let me clear out everything let me clear out everything let me type something amod mahajan let me put some random user okay let me put some uh, password also okay i will don't want to show the word if i see just see here okay just see here when i click on the next okay something is something so many calls are made and we can see something called status right 200 200 there's so many things are happening okay so whatever whatever you do go and perform on ui okay was when i click on create you just something happen at back end it is those they are calling apis okay what is apis api stands for application programming interface okay so what actually happens we open the gmail ui means a gmail web application okay or mobile application whatever application you whatever uh, application you open right in mobile or desktop you go and enter the detail then some api call will be made and that api call will will be responsible to create an account for you and you see that account create account details and all on your ui okay so what is actually happening Let me open Paint here. So what will actually happen? This year, suppose, uh, suppose this is your Facebook application now, okay? This is your Facebook UI. Okay. Facebook UI means user interaction. Okay. UI Facebook. So here, suppose you want to create create an account or if you want to log in. Okay. Or you want to send a friend request to someone. If you want to send out a message to someone. Okay. Everything will perform here. Okay. Because you know, because you see everything like uh, how to send if you want to. Uh, if you want to send a friend request to someone, you need to click on add friend. If you want to remove someone from your friend list, you can remove it easily because you have some easily understandable UI. Okay. But but whatever operation you perform on Facebook, okay, one call will be made. Okay, one call is made. Means one call will be made for that. Okay. Okay, one call will be made, and that call will go to your Facebook server. 
okay so suppose if you want to create an account you need to fill all the details those details will be sent via api okay and that api will perform something that api will do some check whether this account this email id is unique or this email id is not used or valid and they do some function function inside that and then they will send you reply okay if you are providing everything properly means the your email id or everything is proper then you will get the then you will get the free account created okay these things whatever arrow you can see this is actually apis okay so api is something which helps two systems to communicate okay if you have two uh, what do you call it if two if you have two different systems okay if you want to establish a connection for a purpose okay you can do by api okay if you see this particular example here this method i am calling right from this class from this particular method is establishing establishing a relationship with the class called registered username okay see similarly here whatever you see on ui right everything whatever you do, whatever action you perform in ui there will be an api call made okay uh, there will be something which will go and call some api and your actions whatever desired option you expect that will be done okay so api is something called api is stands for application programming interface why a programming because here we are using programs right two thing we are pro, uh, we are we are using programs so that's why it's calling something like application programming interface okay so let me give you one more example okay we use mobiles correct we use mobiles so suppose if someone gives you uh, in mobiles we have the screen right and where you can uh, call someone you can access any app you can switch off your mobile phone you can do a lot of stuff right but what if i give you the complete pcb board where you can see all the uh, electrical device and all can you operate can you operate it no right you cannot operate it because whenever you are using mobile there is one called screen right because of that screen only any technical non technical person or who be it is right they can access the mobile correct because they have provided some layer to you correct let me give you one more example suppose uh, uh suppose you go to france right so they speak french okay and the, and you you can understand english or you can speak up english right but uh, you can you know only english and other guy, other guy only knows french right so how will communicate you need someone right someone uh, mediator who knows both the languages then only he can translate and can help you to communicate okay so everything like when you two systems if the two system want to communicate with each other okay they can use they can um, create a mean that can be called an api okay application programming interface okay let me give you one more real time example okay you must have heard of or you must have booked the airlines ticket right so in india we have something called yatra.com yatra yatra.com okay and suppose here if i search for a flight ticket from new delhi to mumbai okay i click on such flights okay so we don't see any flight details flight uh, details from yatra company right we do, yatra doesn't have any flights okay what they do they they are a platform okay yatra is a platform which shows all the flights available from different airlines okay this go air spice jet there are so many things they are showing up okay so how it is possible how yatra is showing those details okay yatra will not have access to their database 
their data means indigo database or spaz database or yata will not have some details like okay these flight details these flights are available in advance no because when you book the ticket obviously your seat will be uh, less now suppose if airlines is providing 50 seats and someone books five seats then in the real time the seats should be updated that okay there are only 25 seats are left okay so these are i think real time yatra will not have database access to the uh, airlines provider so what actually happened this uh, airlines provider like indigo spicejet they have created one apis okay they have created apis which they have given to yatra okay and yatra have integrated those api or in the industry term that is called consumed yatra consumed these airlines provider apis okay so what actually happens whenever a user comes to yatra.com and he search for a flight from this to uh, from here to there uh, for a particular date these details will be sent to that api okay that this will be sent to the api and it means it will send the details to all the airlines provider and then they will send the data to yatra and yatra will show them okay here indigo is not saying that okay you go and show my flat left side or right side on the top or, or to the bottom no indigo api will be responsible to just send the data okay yatra is responsible to show this ui okay so api gives some data and this yatra is just showing up that just uh, giving some uh, what do you call that uh, the present cell right so let me give one more example like suppose we use the switchboards correct why we switch boards so that we can off the bulb on the bulb on the fan whatever we can do right but if i give you the wires okay touch the wires and off the light you're not able to do right but using the switch board you can easily control okay this particular switch is for that bulb this particular switch is for that bulb right you can easily control using the rest switch same thing yatra is doing okay indigo api will give some flight details okay i have this flight available with me okay now you show this to user yatra will will responsible to show that to user okay any doubt this is the real real time example of what is api okay and where in real time we see so many apis are used okay it's not only that you need to yeah uh, uh, api always help to communicate to different system no in gmail they call one api to know whether the username is already registered or not okay that are internal in gmail only they have different modules here yatra we have another application and indigo we have another application so here two application also can communicate right in one application we can have multiple modules if you know selenium so in china we follow the page object model right so we have multiple pages similarly in one application we can have multiple modules okay so one module can communicate another module using api as well and one application can communicate with different application using the api as well okay so api is really helpful to communicate okay so in one line definition you can say that api is something which helps to which helps two systems to communicate with each other okay it's not always two system you can like uh, generally we use a method chaining right one method will call another method that method internally will call another method right that is also possible so one api can one api can call another api Another API can call another API. That is also possible. API API chaining we can call that. Okay. So let me see if you have any doubt. So there are so many questions again. So Kavita is asking, Yatta itself acts as API or it interacts with other API here. No, Yatta Yatta is not acting as the API here. Okay, Yatra application has integrated the API provided by uh, the this flight airlines provider. Okay, and whenever someone comes to Yatra and query for some data, they will send this data to this API. Okay, someone requesting data for this. 
let me give you one more example like suppose you must have heard of mintra which is a shopping website right okay if you go for mintra and uh, if you go for login can you see anywhere login okay sign up okay so many applications we you see that you can log in using the gmail or facebook right maybe if i click on sign up here yeah you can see signing sign in with facebook sign in with google right how we are uh, how we are able to use okay so actually uh, when you do sign in with facebook so yata will not have will not have your facebook username and password no sign facebook has provided one api okay which helps which helps to integrate integrate with any other application and they can use that application as a login this is called social login okay in yatra when you uh, sign in with uh, when you click on this particular button okay let me click we see we directly go to the facebook page and we need to enter the facebook email username and password here okay then this particular when whatever details we enter this details will be validated on facebook server and they will return whether i am i am a valid facebook user or not okay if you are a valid facebook user then yalta will allow you to get an account okay this type of login is called social login there is no need to create multiple accounts if because we in nowadays we use a lot of applications right and if you go and create up create an account in all the application it will be very difficult to remember the username and password for everyone so they allow they provide the option of social login you can log in with the facebook or they you can log in with the gmail but that doesn't mean that your yatra will have your facebook credentials no okay a facebook has provided an api which has been integrated with yatra okay so that you can easily create an account on yatra okay this is possible all because of api only okay yes so sinivas is saying that also while shopping on any website pay through paypal yeah paypal amazon pay paytm you can pay using a lot of means right why why how that is possible because that application is integrated with that if you see big basket okay which is one grocery uh online grocery application if you are, if you want to order some grocery and when you go for the payment page you can see a lot of option to pay you can pay using paypal you can pay using credit card debit card uh, then some wallet like airtel money ola money there so many things you can pay how it is possible because big basket has integrated api or in fact payment api provided by these applications like atm or phone pay or whatever we have okay so there are a lot of things uh, api makes it possible okay is that api cause possible or it needs any authentication yeah see that depends right that depends because uh, public api will not be secure whenever you go for any public wifi network that will not be secure because someone can steal your data right so um, because that depends if the api is simple okay like whether it and also those things doesn't require any authentication but if the api is critical like uh, uh, in gmail to check the username that api is called right that will be some that will require some authorization okay okay any other question kavita is asking what is that new window which window you are asking about
Any other question you have, guys? Uh, one guy is asking, I want to know whether the page is created by the Yatra or by Facebook. No. Yatra is consuming those APIs. Okay. Yatra is consuming the Facebook APIs. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, let me give you one more real time example to understand what is API. We see switchboards, right? In switchboard, we have a plug, right? Uh, let me Google and show you that. Electrical plug. Like this type of thing. You see, this is generally you can say that these are these are the APIs, okay? And when whenever you want to put a plug, right, you can insert into it. Okay, so Yatra is that plug, okay, which will consume this particular uh, uh, particular this one adapter. Okay, so Facebook or Google or some other airlines they have provided the APIs. Those APIs are responsible to search uh, search the or give the flight details. Okay, and Yatra calls them. Or in real time we say that consuming Yatra is consuming those APIs. Okay, so we'll, kill, we'll uh, understand more clearly when you do some practicals. Okay, but as of now, yeah, API you mean you API you can understand or you can summarize like something which has two applications to communicate. Okay, that is called API. Okay, communication can be inter internal communication, communication can be external also. Okay, inter communication icon I just showed you in Gmail. When you create a account in Gmail, it they are internal API call. Okay, but when uh, Yatra, when you go and search for a flight in Yatra.com, then they are APIs which are connecting to external application. Okay. Any website can we use Facebook APIs? Yes. Facebook APIs are not free. You can use if you are if you want to create any application. For you create a new application where you want to provide the Facebook login. They then you can consume Facebook APIs. And uh, Facebook APIs are not free. You cannot use without paying any money. So Facebook, if you want to see the Facebook API, that right, you can go to develop. Uh, Facebook API. Okay. So there they provide all the APIs. Okay. So if you want to if you want to create an application, and you want to provide the social login, you can use these APIs here. See Facebook login. Can you see? So these are things Facebook provides. Like you can, uh, you can use this Facebook API to integrate the Facebook login in your application. Okay. You can see this type of button continue with Facebook and all right. So this is possible because Facebook has provided their APIs. Okay, similarly for Twitter also, if you see Twitter. So Twitter also provide their APIs.
So to, to also provide APIs, you can use to tweet something. You can do something, anything. You can see tweet, post it, trip and all, right? Post. If you want to tweet something, you then you do post request and all. Okay. So anything this will be covered. So when I will go and learn API and practical, then you will understand these terms mostly. And uh, let me relate with those with say name also. If you know say name, right? So you generally write some code. Like if you want to open a browser, what you do? We create an object of a uh, particular browser driver class. Like if you want to open a Chrome, then you write Chrome driver driver to new Chrome driver. Okay. Internet that is one API will you called. Okay. We have saying them API also. Everything is APIs. Okay. And you can you can directly call the API also. Okay. So let me show you saying them. So it means ideally same also has APIs and we can you can also use the, those API to open a browser locate an element and perform some other actions. Okay, so internally, there are those are API calls only. Okay, I'll just send you those link where you can see the same APIs also. Okay, but in real time, maximum thing are APIs only. Whatever you perform actions at back end, one API will be fired. Okay, not one API, it can find multiple APIs as well. Okay, or a chain of APIs will be fired. Okay. So other question. Kavita asking, so you mean say name and browsers application where that driver exe is an API user. I didn't understand the question, but uh, what I understand like you're asking that whatever command you are writing, right? To launch a browser, to load a load a uh url or want to click on element everything at the back end one api will be called okay actually that construct a rest uh, rest apis okay and that is responsible to perform a click i could able to solve you but i am not getting that uh, thing senium rest api They have the APS to do something. So means whatever office you perform, everything is API here. See. See, if I want to navigate to a URL, there will be one post request. Okay, this post will go. If I want to uh, let me close window, right? Then you have delete call. Okay, this is one API call. Okay, so whatever same command or same schedules we write, okay, internally they will construct one REST API or they will call a REST call. Okay, then operator will be performed. Okay. So everything is the this you can see. I will ping this one uh, into chat box. Okay. So this is the thing. Whatever say name command you write, what there is one correspondence API calls. 
okay so api is really useful and uh, uh, we must know api testing so that we can catch the bug at early stage of development okay guys any other question i just ping so actually here see there are a lot of questions actually so it is really difficult to go through all the questions but whatever important i will try to cover here Naj is asking like, uh, Naj, it will be good if you go and use only the English language will be better. Okay. So as per Naj, he is asking like, why Indigo has created APIs? Why not they are giving database? See, will you give your bank details, details to me or some to someone else? No, right? So that is the thing. Why Indigo will give the database access to some uh, third party? Uh, they need to manage security also right so they uh, no one will give you the database access to directly they will give some way so that they can indirectly access okay or suppose uh maybe if you are going to any, going to a college right and there are some library okay you go and ask okay i need this book then the library attendant will go inside and they will bring the book for you they will not allow you to go inside okay that is the thing whatever you need ask me i will give you okay i cannot give you uh, access to go inside go directly inside my database okay api encrypts the message and data yes so suppose if you are creating a creating a gmail account right so you need to give the give some data like your first name last name your mobile number your email ad uh, whatever things okay those data will be in capability in api okay and that will send to the server or something inside inside that something will happen okay okay so there are a lot of questions actually so i hope uh, if i miss any question you can ping it again okay so let me go to another slide Okay, whatever we have covered, why we need an API? It require a common medium. Okay, I have given one example of mobile. You require a, you because of that screen only, anyone can access the mobile. No, without that screen, no one can use it easily. Okay. Then we have hide the implementation. Indigo or some any airlines will not provide the database access. Okay. They are only providing a means to connect to that uh, or retrieve the information. So how they are doing, they have hidden, they have hide that implementation. Okay, that is possible in API. Integration with others. Yatra has integrated so many APIs, right? That is also possible because of API. Service on demand, social login is an example of service on demand. Data processing. When when I was trying to create an account on Gmail then when i enter the username it gave me that this particular username is already taken okay so data processing so repetitive or specific problems suppose there's crazy yatra there's so many other website which allows to uh, do the flight booking so indico will not give a separate api to each one right all the applications they have only one api okay and that api uh, they will provide to everyone and all these applications need to consume those APIs. Okay. There will be no unique API for Yatra, unique API for Killer Trail, unique API for some other website. No, there will be one single API. Okay. So any doubt in this particular points, because whatever point I've written here, I have given the real time examples as well. API collection of jars. See, jars is something uh, you can say that which a collection of it can be collection of anything. Okay, jar means something pot, right? If you see a pot where you put the sugar, right? We can see this particular jar contains sugar, right? So a jar can be many 
uh, a jar can contain many things right so we cannot only say that a api is a collection of jars no okay api can have multiple means to do a task okay when you add selenium dependency in our project right so that is coming as jar right and selenium we can say that this jar contains so many apis to do perform some tasks like open browser close browser uh, click or typing right okay fine so let's go to another slide so it's a continuing to that only what is the api define a way to allow applications to interact with each other or either way right we have seen the example mechanism to expose to do an action rather than how to do in cashless security contract yatra doesn't know how indigo is returning the flight details okay it is giving you security also non necessary to have different applications modules within application may also need to interact with other modules then maybe intra communication within module as well okay i have covered already an api may call multiple other apis in it okay i have covered eliminate dependencies platform okay this is again major point right so how um uh like suppose when indigo is creating an api right so that api will be created in a such in such a way that any any application okay can consume it suppose indigo each indigo website is created based on java but yatra is created on javascript right they are two different applications okay different uh, application created on different platforms right how they will communicate they are communicating because of api because api is platform api is something uh, they follow one pattern which can be understandable by any uh, any technology okay i will explain that in later when i will see when i will show the real time examples but yeah whatever um, what whatever api we have because that can that follow a common medium which helps us which helps any application developed using any technology to communicate with that okay makes life easier for other application and people social logins you no need to create multiple or you know no need to create individual account on all any other application you can use the social login using login with facebook or login with gmail okay so any doubt in this so api i i think that i explained like all the concept with the real time examples wherever you see the applications wherever you can find that okay something is being used here okay any doubt can i go can i go to next topic okay so web service so you must have heard this api in web services okay and uh, many people are always confused what's the api and what is the web service and how they are how they differ actually okay so if you see here uh, this particular example okay where we have calling the method of another class okay this is this uh, doesn't require any network here right that doesn't need to require any internet connection okay but when you google when you go and search for the flight on yatra.com right then you need to then you need some internet connection then only api will be called okay so any api which operates on network okay or any api which requires internet to work on okay that is nothing but that is called web services okay that is web and that is web services okay so it's nothing like api and web services uh there are so many differences between these two but yeah there are minor difference if any api which is working on network or which works on network that is web services okay so each web service 
okay whatever whatever we search we see that will be one api but all the apis will not be a web service because all the api will never require will not require the internet connection to work on okay but if any api will require internet connection then that is web service okay i am getting one question okay so uh, let me read out something about web services here so services available on web okay so yapa is consuming indigo apis that is available on web okay you are using social login that is also available on web okay those are web services okay so services available on web are called web services but facebook or gmail are not web services okay facebook and gmail are web applications okay when you create an application by uh you with the help of multiple web services those are actually web applications okay so the world wide web okay which is generally www we call right more used for application to application communication right we are i am teaching you people because of i am using one uh, web based application called go to meeting or go to webinar correct that is helping us to communicate someone would have joined from australia someone someone would have joined from usa uk right but i am in india right how how i am able to communicate with you all people because of some web based application okay so wikipedia uh, defines web services as a service offered by an application uh, a service offered by an ele electronic device to another electronic device communicate communicating with each other via the world wide web okay two device communicating okay if they don't need any internet connection then fine but if two devices are communicating with each other on a network or world wide web that is called web services okay okay fine so i think this should be good and what is difference between ap and web services network okay so let me cover this last topic for today at least like web services versus web application so uh, actually this was asked in previous classes like what is the difference between web services and web application so i added this as a slide in this particular batch okay so the actual difference between web services and application one web service can perform a specific task okay one web service, like we create methods each method performs some specific task like we have add method we have subtract method we have division method we have create a user name we have different different methods okay which is like single responsibility so one web service is responsible to perform a specific thing when you when you integrate all the web services to build in a build build something that is called application actually that is called web application okay so a web service gives data and web any web application in pass data indigo api or indigo web services are giving the details of all the available flights and yatra is consuming that those api to display or parse the available flights to you so that you can go and book right a web service with a user interface can be called as a web application correct a web service is meant to interact with another service where whereas a web application is meant to interact with humans that is also correct okay so b2c means business to customer web application when business to business web services indigo to yatra that is b2b okay yatra to you that is web application right okay so this i will cover tomorrow api design models but yeah so whatever questions whatever doubts you have you can ask now is uh, it can be related with the whatever topics today i covered and any other doubt uh, in respect of dispatch timing or duration whatever questions you have you can ask me now because just to summarize uh, this batch will go from it will take two months 
okay in worst case or if i cover more topic then to go for extra uh, two classes okay then we are covering a lot of topics okay keeping in mind for your interview preparation and clear clear the interview uh, without without having any working experience and when you get a project then you should also have to work on that so we have thought all those points and we have come up with the syllabus which will save you all okay okay so please request will be like you should know java and tsng okay tsng i will cover some basics okay but yeah java you should know okay and as a complimentary will be also teaching you the cucumber here okay which in which i will show you that how can you integrate your recessive framework with the cucumber okay so let me let uh, let's see so what you doubt you have now you can ask okay and if you want anyone want to speak up okay this the hand i will unmute uh, that guy and you can ask then okay so wins right so uh, sorry if i can't pronounce your name but yeah he is asking any padded needs internet to work it's called web services timing will be uh, from next week it will be 8 to 10 am ist indian standard time ist 8 to 10 am from next weekends can you give real time example of web services and web application i have shown the gmail right when gmail is a web application when i go to create an account and i open the open the network tab then i see one that one api call was made just to check whether the user name is available or not right so that was the web application that was the web services and gmail is the web application so i have shown you that as an example can you keep the same time 6 to 8 pm no this uh, this is a morning batch every batch is already finished so this will be the morning batch yes i say 8 am 8 to 10 am ist any other doubt will be asking given example for api without web services see again you are confusing a given example api which doesn't require internet okay something like that you can have your you can create your own method right if you see here i call this method right to check whether it uses register or not this particular class is available in this particular package itself this doesn't require internet connection this this can also be called as api okay so it means whenever you are developing any, whenever you are testing any web based application right so there will be so many features okay so those features are supported by the web services only web services are not mean to communicate with some external application only no web services can be used are mostly used within application within application only okay any other question lot of breakage in today's meeting yeah i am not so like why internet was uh, working weird today but yeah i will um, i will try to fix this issue otherwise i will be on mobile data so uh, will i will i will rectify as for sure
when with the recording will be available i think the recording will be available once uh, after the demo session will be over and whoever will be the uh, registered user they will get the recording Pragya message asking, I want to create a desktop API framework for a desktop application. Is it possible? See, if you have any API, right? So that API can be used for any uh, desktop application or web-based application. That's up to you. Okay. So if you have any API, we can create a framework for it. Okay. And framework is not a big deal. Framework is the only the collection of whatever concepts you know. Okay. Um, I I see like many people are afraid with the framework term. If you know Selenium, you know Selenium like how to open browser, how to load a URL, how to click, how to typing, right? Those things only you include the framework. There's nothing like there new things in framework. Okay, so whatever you learn, whatever concept you learn, okay, and based on the knowledge of programming language you have, you create a framework. Okay. If you have any query, how to connect with Rahul, any mail ID or contact number is available. Yes, so I think uh, once you register uh, for this batch, okay, so everything will be provided to you and one WhatsApp group also will be created where contact of everyone will be shared and where you can go and uh, ask any doubt to me, Rahul or whoever other trainers are there, they will help you. Okay. I'm not so good in Java. How can I learn it? See, uh, what? Uh, see, Java is the main thing here. Okay, whatever things you are learning, like Selenium, Rails, or some any other thing, those are simple library, Java based library. But you need to know the Java basic concepts. Okay, so Java is not the part of this particular batch. But yes, if you need some Java training and all, you can contact with Rahul, or uh, uh, you can. You can ask him to share some recorded videos as well, but the Java will not be covered in this particular batch. Dupali is asking same with example of which which yes, I just showed you that uh, whatever operation you perform, there is one API in Selenium. Could you share the slayers prior to registration? I, I, uh, because I don't uh, know this. I think uh, Rahul must have shared the slayers. If not, then it will be shared with you all. Don't worry. Yes, even as I will cover the API automation also. API automation is the main part. API manual testing, automation testing between the postman and the assessor will be covered. There are a lot of things will be covered. I will ask Raul to share the syllabus with you all. Yes, uh, Tusha, you are correct there, Sudha. Uh, I think only the soap you will not be there. Remaining everything will be there. We'll do some uh, uh, um, demo projects also where you will. I will explain. I will explain the same way is it. It is done in industry also. Okay, there will no like uh, some. I will show you very easy one and in real time you get the difficult one. No. I will explain everything like uh, how to start API, how to understand the API, everything I will explain. Okay.
okay guys so if you don't have any questions so we'll meet tomorrow again the, again on the same timing 6 to 8 okay pm ist but from the next weekend it will be 8 to 10 am ist okay so uh, meanwhile i will ask uh, mean uh, i will ask rahul to uh, share the syllabus with you all and uh, yeah actually i try to explain a lot that's why i take always more time to cover the syllabus but yeah if you go to my blog also you can find these details like how much i because when you when you try to map your concept with some real time example so that you that will make an impact okay so always try to understand the concept with an example so that you can remember it for longer time okay so okay so i hope to see you again tomorrow and for the upcoming classes as well okay so thank you everyone i will meet tomorrow again thank you yes it's same time tomorrow 6 to 8 pm ist okay thank you